Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick update. Uh, move the car over here a little bit where my fan is. Um, you can see that, the fan there. I'm gonna turn it on. It'll pull that way and then I've got uh, this fan over here. You can see that one. It's pushing out. Puts a pretty good little breeze through there. So, uh, yeah, you can see the paper moving and stuff kind of going that direction. So, you know, it's not professional, but it'll work. I'm gonna suck it out that wall. I got a paint filter in the wall there to filter out some of the uh, paint. So, got it all cleaned up. Went over with a wire wheel again to remove any micro, what, micro, whatever surface rust that might have been there. Uh, wax and grease, waterborne wax and grease moved it. Uh, SPI says their epoxy, you have to have the, the metal temperature 65 degrees before you spray it. Um, and right now it's only 65 degrees in the shop. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 70, so uh, we'll see what happens. But that's one thing they say that's super important. Do not spray if the metal is uh, less than 65 degrees. So. I've got a uh, tip gun. I'm going to make sure the metal's at least 65 degrees before I spray. If it doesn't get to there, then I'm not going to spray it. I'll just uh, wait another day because it's going to get warmer. Uh, last couple of days have been fantastic for spraying, but I just hadn't been able to get out here to do it. So, uh, and obviously, I had some other stuff with this deal going on, trying to finish that up. So, anyway, hopefully, I can get out here and spray this. I may have to wait till about three or four o'clock this afternoon, where you know it spikes out on temperature so uh, yeah that's where we are now um, I get to use my uh, new hose and filter system and all that and um, so I'm kind of excited about that see how it sprays out and um, so I'll bring you back once I uh, once I get her sprayed and at least we get the first coat on I'll turn the camera back on Hopefully the battery will charge by then. I've got it plugged in, that's why I can't walk over there. I left the battery on, or left the camera on all night last night after I uploaded the last video. So uh, the battery went dead. So I'm gonna let it charge here for a little bit and see if uh, I can pull it off the charger and take you guys around the car here in a little bit. See you. All right guys, it's uh, I got impatient, so I decided I'd go ahead and kick the heater on. So the heater's on, um, just to kind of bump it up over what I wanted. Uh, 63 outside, it started raining. Uh, 76 uh, degrees in here right now, 45% uh, humidity, so looks to me like that's a pretty good time to paint. Uh, once I get the epoxy on, it'll seal that metal up. That's my main goal, is just sealing that metal up because uh, you can't let this stuff sit there and, forever in bare metal especially with the humidity that I've had so anyway uh, yeah everything's mask off I mean I kind of did a whatever masking job and just spraying epoxy nothing else on the car is gonna get hurt you know if it gets a little overspray here or there I mean because I gotta go over the whole car anyway so but anyway yeah just the metal parts I'm gonna focus on and uh, kind of knock that out uh, inner fender wheel uh, or outer fender wheel I should say Went ahead and they 180 that and then scuffed the, uh, with the red scotch bright on the areas that uh, yeah, I couldn't get with, up with the uh, DA. So I'll probably just do this side of it for now. Um, and then once I weld it on and do all that, I'll come back and hit this again. So, because I have to go over the welds with some epoxy. So, anyway, not too worried about that. Uh, so, yeah. Looking pretty good. Um, I may shoot some weld through primer on that uh, edge there real quick where I'm gonna weld. Um, actually, I might, I, hell, I don't know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Well, I'll bring you guys back when they pass that off. You can see the mating surfaces there. Um, it's the same thing on this. It's already sprayed underneath. You can see the weld through there. So the weld through will mate up against the weld through. Uh, and then I'll, uh, I'm going to mask that off and then I'll epoxy the, the other so it's the same 
I'm gonna leave it off, like I said, so I can access this better. That way I'm not underneath here trying to spray up. This is nice right here. I can just get, you know, right to it. So make it easier. Uh, should be a per pretty, pretty easy, so. I was gonna right, show you guys you. real quick. Uh, metal's 81 degrees. 82 degrees. 83 degrees, 84 degrees, so yeah, it's hot in here. It's uh, the heater's working real well. So, just for the record, got the temperature up that way, there's no you know, no question about that. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna get get after it. I gotta get that epoxy to uh, inducing for 30 minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna come back out here and spray. All right, guys, it yeah. laid down like glass, uh, real nice. I like it. how good the camera will show up but yeah I mean you know it's just epoxy but uh, it laid down real nice so that'll keep that metal from flash rusting on me anymore um, I just put one coat on there I've got enough to do another coat so I'm gonna let it flash off for about 30 minutes so about 2 4 or 345 I'm gonna come back out here and uh, give it one more coat uh, that should be plenty and uh, yeah pretty happy with that uh, no fish eyes that I can see anywhere I mean maybe speaking too soon but uh, and this uh, this SPI epoxy when it uh, lays on it lays on glossy so like if you know you're doing your outside body work you see that in there you'd be able to see every dent so the SPI epoxy you can lay your uh, filler right over top of it if you do it within seven days you don't have to scuff it so um, yeah pretty happy with it I'm going to uh, give it a second coat and uh, I'll bring you back and show you the final final product all right so there it is second coat down uh, laid down as smooth as the first like I said pretty happy with it um, Yeah, I have no complaints. I'm not going to complain at all. I'm going to be happy. No runs, no nothing. I mean, it's no fish eyes. Uh, a little bit of dirt, but that's to be expected, you know. Painting in a dirty shop. So, but uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Went ahead and painted the underneath side of that. I said I didn't do this top side. And the reason being is because I've got to, uh, you know, I put this tape down. If I can get it off, that well through primer there around the edges. And uh, so, yeah, I still got to weld that in there. So, when I weld that up, uh, it'll be shooting sparks out, you know, welding stuff. And I don't want to, I didn't want to have the top of this epoxy for having it burn through so I'm gonna wait till everything's welded in then I'm gonna go back over and shoot the coat on the outside I didn't have to worry about the underside obviously so uh, yeah there it is I'll go ahead and take some of this masking tape off now and uh, that way nothing bridges and I don't start tearing tearing stuff off Still pretty wet right there, so gotta be careful. So yeah, you can kind of tell the difference the silver versus the gray primer. Epoxy it up in there too. I'm not gonna get a hold of that. Yeah. Or I mean, I said epoxy. I uh, put my weld through primer up in there, taped off that line. So yeah, um, pretty impressed. Um, Use a cheap gun. Um, 
Obviously you don't want to spray epoxy primer through a high dollar gun unless you're going to clean it like super good. But I bought a cheaper gun, like 35 bucks or whatever. And uh, works fine, you know, for that. So. Like opening a Christmas present. keep my paper out of it so get this real quick if I can pull that up this is where investing in good tape comes in handy uh, 3M like I said I try to buy the better stuff otherwise you end up ripping shreds and pulling and having to sit there and dig that out and that's no good so uh, yeah, all that turned out good. Take it out of the light. See how shiny that is? It stays that way. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, you know, when you're doing your body work on top of stuff, you know, obviously won't do it in there, but on the outer panels, when you're doing your body work, you can look right down it. It looks like it's got paint on it, so you can see the dents and stuff. So then you just go right over them with your filler. Uh, like I said, it chemically adheres to it, and unless you Wait over seven days. After seven days, you gotta go ahead and hit it with uh, 80 grit and uh, get your get your tooth back. So anyway, uh, it may not be 80 grit, maybe 180. Don't quote me on that, but uh, yeah, I look up the tech sheets again. But yeah, you gotta you gotta give it a tooth if you wait after seven days. Other than that, it chemically adheres. So all right, I'm gonna strip the rest of this tape off and uh, paper and stuff and. That'll be it. Um, I'll upload the video and let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I think it looks pretty good. It's nice and shiny, nice and sealed up. I don't have to worry about the stinking uh, humidity anymore. And uh, while we're talking about that, let's see what we got in here. Let's see what, let's check this out real quick. Yeah, the metal's 81 degrees. Uh, I gotta mess up in here. I can zoom in on that. Looks like uh, it's 80 degrees in here, 63 degrees outside. 70% uh, humidity uh, outside, but it's only 45 in here. And um, it, more than likely, that's because it hadn't had time to come up through the concrete. So, of course, it's not raining hard enough to flood like it did that one day. So. Not too worried about it now. I've got the metal sealed up, so I don't care. I can do what it wants. Uh, got the metal sealed up, so I'm happy. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.